2,400 kilometers later, and Curtis Hargrove has finally arrived at Ellen DeGeneres' studio in Burbank, California. The 26-year-old from Cold Lake ran from B.C. to Hollywood on a mission to deliver a very special blanket to the famous talk show host. Joining us now is Kim Smith. She's been tracking Curtis's journey. Kim. Well, uh, Curtis Hargrove is known for running long distances while raising money for charity. He's also very social media savvy, keeps in contact with his supporters through regular video updates. Now, people around the world have been tracking his latest journey in support of a woman with a very big heart. She believes that the love she's sending to them matters. It's been Angel Meg Newson's mission for the past three years, sewing personalized blankets for critically ill children. Our daughter spends every day sewing her heart out to help sick kids. And she's got uh, a, uh, uh. she's gonna show you, she's got a new blanket she's just gonna start on today. More than 500 blankets have been sent to hospitals throughout North America, Australia, New Zealand, and Scotland. Plus, the 19-year-old has raised more than $300,000 for charity. So many of Angel's kids have critical illnesses, um, kids who are um, in pal receiving palliative care and kids who are going through um, a lot of really hard times. One of Angel's role models is Ellen DeGeneres, and both of them share a love of cats. I love you. How much do you love Ellen? Lot. Her dream is for the famous TV host to one day come sew with her at her Higgins studio. Well, what do you want Ellen to do? Come here and sew with me. <laughs> come here and sew with you, you bet. That's where Curtis Hargrove comes in. The Alberta man is well known for long distance charity runs. When he heard Angel's story, he embarked on a mission to run 2,400 kilometers over 49 days. From B.C. to Hollywood to deliver one of the hand-sewn blankets to the famous TV host. We're coming for you, Ellen. Today is day 49. Curtis has been posting videos to social media every hour with updates on the run. But when they arrived at the Ellen Studios, it was a bit of a letdown. We showed up to the studio and no one was here for us. So we're not giving up hope yet because uh, we did mention that there's a possibility that no one would be here. Despite feeling disappointed for now, Curtis says the journey has already been worth it to support this inspirational woman with a big heart. Angel, can you tell Kim, what do you put inside of your blanket Love. before you mail it? <laughs> Now, Curtis tells me he's going to stick around the Los Angeles area for the next couple of days. Still hopeful he'll have a chance to personally deliver Angel's blanket to Ellen. And Kim, has Curtis had any communication with anyone from the Ellen show? Actually, he hasn't spoken to anyone from the show, but with all the attention on social media, you'd have to imagine the producers know about his story and Angel's blanket. So we'll have to wait and see whether anything develops over the next couple of days. All right, yeah. fingers crossed. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome.